Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. <laughs> We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. Okay, so this section is, if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera okay as i always say please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if this isn't your story if i don't pick up on your story stick around it sometimes you know sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that uh jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to finish laying these cards there we go Okay, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Scorpio, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, as you can see, there is extra cards. So I just need to clarify some of these cards as well, guys. If this doesn't resonate with yourself, feel free to check out your other readings for the month. They should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right, so let me just make sure that that's on. Perfect. All right, so just looking at the past, touching on the past, we do have the chariot card, which talks about just this back and forth, hot and, hot and cold, on and off. Uh, the chariot is more about this on and off, indecisive type of energy, and that's the state of the, the connection in the past. For you though, there is this, you're showing up as, well not really showing up, but you're thinking, you do have the devil card there, which talks about this attachment um, towards this person. There is an attachment there, but I feel like there is this judgment that you do have towards yourself about that attachment with that karma card there, the judgment card in this deck. Um, and it's interesting because we do have the nine of cups, which talks about there is a level of emotional happiness around that but it kind of gets overshadowed by the judgment and the attachment that you do have with that comes this feeling of needing to be strong um in terms of walking away from this we got the eight of cups which talks about leaving something behind and then the, the strength card there again this is in the past with them their focus or their thinking was around fixing this healing healing there's something around healing uh with the star card there that's in their thinking wanting things to turn around with the wheel of fortune um, but yeah something around them fixing or healing that was definitely in their state of mind let me pull on that let me just get another because they're showing up as that now currently as well scorpio the star card talks about healing feeding something mending something fixing something giving support that type of thing yeah we just got the six of cups there yeah so their focus is on supporting or fixing or healing something around that and that's offering that to you as well with the star card there but i feel like this person had some challenges to overcome in order for them to move move forward with the five of wands on sorry yeah the five of wands on top of that six it's this there's challenges around that for them that could be internal challenges for them as well maybe frustration around that uh, but yeah, find it difficult to kind of move ahead with that healing or fixing or mending or offering some form of support. But again, this was in the past. Yeah. And just moving into where it is at the moment. They, we've still got this kind of frustrating energy here represented by the five of wands. Frustration. I feel like it's more about frustration. You, it's quite interesting because how you're showing up is very different to what's going on within yourself or within your thinking you're showing up as the king so the king of wands talks about you know very attractive very uh, um uh, got a lot of heart focus ambitious 
uh, driven. That's how you're showing up. Very different from what you're thinking, though. What you're thinking regarding this situation is there's a lot of stress, worry. Maybe sleepless nights as well, because there is this element of giving or wanting to give or something around wanting to give to this person or uh, if give, yeah, with a six, this giving. Very different to how you're showing up. So this is going on internally for you, which you might not be showing, yeah, which you might not be showing anyone, Scorpio, because your challenge is the lovers. Your challenge is, is, is the lovers. That's in your challenge position, which talks about you know, maybe not connect, not being able to connect to this person or not being able to release this person even. I'm going to pull on that because there is disappointment around that. Again, that's your challenge though. Disappointment. I feel like someone's wearing a mask, Scorpio, in this situation. And that mask is coming from your end. If you're resonating with this side, that is. Yeah. You might feel like you've lost this person with the Three of Cups there. This is in your challenge. It feels like you, you feel like you maybe have lost this person. Um, this Three of Cups might be coming from your own, but I feel like this is more you thinking about them or them maybe having someone else. But you can't seem to maybe forget this person or put this person down or there's disappointment around that most definitely, which is causing a bit of a challenge for you. Very different to how you're showing up. Your person is showing up as a star. Again, it's this supportive type of energy, offering support, uh, giving off that energy, giving that, reaching out the hand to be able to support you or heal you or fix this situation. It could be even just this situation at hand. There's a level of focus as well. They've got the uh, king of wands in their thinking. So there is this level of focus of them wanting to support you. There's a supportive energy that this person is exhibiting most definitely not sure how things are going to turn out but willing to take the risk anyway with that full card there their challenge is, is they feel like things have come to an end and there is this level of loss of hope when it comes to this very interesting very interesting read uh scorpio i want to clarify something bear with me because for you you, it's interesting because for you, when we're talking about the magician, and this is what you're wanting, you're thinking around what you're wanting. We've got the magician card. So the magi magician card talks about having all the tools in the box to be able to make something happen for you, to be able to manifest something or have a level of the belief around you having something, regardless of that tower, regardless of you seeing things as, may, as mm, how do I put that, as things having come crashing down or crumbling down regardless of that it's like i still have this level of belief that i can make this work or sort something out or, or or get this sorted or fix this and that's because there is this intuitive knowing around this you've got the high priestess card sometimes the high priestess card talks about just having a level of a uh, deep spiritual connection to something um, definitely towards your higher self though but this is receiving guidance receiving insight um, from your spirit guides, if that's something you believe in, uh, from your higher self, uh, if that's something you believe in as well. Your person, your person, your person, your person wants to advance this. They just want an opportunity to create something new with you, start something new. This person is, it's a, this is a, a challenging read simply because I feel like there's intricate details within this that is quite difficult for me to, um, Quite difficult for me to, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, verbalize or, uh, yeah, verbalize. There you go. So hopefully you guys are kind of reading between the lines of, of, of this reading. But this person, I tell you something, this person has a star card twice in their deck. How they're showing up and, of course, in the past. So there is this very supportive energy from this person. But I feel like you've lost this person. You feel like you've lost them in some way. And that in itself is stressing you out with that nine. Hence the sleepless nights, the, um, you know, worry, the stress. Some of you might even fall in, into uh, depression. We've got anxiety there as well. The nine of wands, nine of wands, nine of swords represents anxiety as well sometimes. But definitely a worry, mental worry. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on for you, Scorpio. I'm not sure what's going on for you because your person, they, they, it seems like they're willing. They just feel like things have come to an end and there's a, there's this loss of hope there. But they're definitely willing to be supportive or to fix this or to mend this. So I'm not sure why you're interpreting this the way it is. Might go back to this judgment that you have of this attachment that you formed. There's a definitely a, an attachment that you formed with this person going back in the past. But there's judgment around that for you, which has caused you to want to walk away from this and really pull on your strength to be able to walk away from this in some way. And then we have that facade of, you know, I'm okay, things are okay, I'm moving ahead, you know, nothing going on over here. But really deep down, there's a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. I feel like that you're self-sabotaging. That's what is going. That's what's happening. There's self-sabotage going on here. And this person is like reaching out the hand, saying, "You know, come on. You know, I'm here to support you. I'm here to." I'm not sure whether they verbalise that or not. Some of them have. But that's the kind of theme here: is this self-sabotage. It's about finding out why you're self-sabotaging. Because this person is willing. So there's something deeper going on here for you, Scorpio, that is causing you to be in this way. I want to pull on this. Let's see if we can get some insight. Because usually we move into part two of the reading, get a filler picture. I will be implementing that um, soon, guys. So just look out for that. So as it stands, let's see if we can. We've got the Ten of Cups. Sorry, the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about fulfillment. So you do want that fulfillment. There is this level of belief that you can actually turn this around or maybe fix this. or And we've got the King of Wands again. Are you going to do it, though? As I say that, there's that holding back card. Four of Pentacles. Got the High Priestess again. So it seems like I get this sense that the, you know, you're receiving messages about this, but then you hold back, but then the messages still come in again. It's like... I, I, I receive messages, and then hold back, and then the messages come in again, if that makes sense. It's like, I, I, I know I'm meant to do this, but I don't want to do this, and then I'm, I'm forced to see that I'm meant to do this. It's that type of thing, if that makes sense. <laughs> ah! Yeah, where with your person, like I said, it's them, again, it's just them wanting to advance this, being patient as well. There's a level of patience that this person has. We've got the Queen of Cups, a very patient, understanding, empathetic queen. When we're talking about the Queen of Cups, that's exactly what they are. I feel like you've got some questions to do. I'm surprised there isn't the Hermit card here because the Hermit card would be, it talks about, you know, solitude and asking yourself those important questions and analyzing and quiet moments and, you know, spending time alone for you to kind of work through things. I don't see that here, so I'm not sure whether that's on the cards for you, whether you're even thinking like that. But there is definitely stuff that needs to be worked out on your end, Scorpio. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, guys, and I shall see you next week.